If you can hear me, marhaban. Marhaban, Karsten. And uh, hello, everybody. So uh, if you are all um, listening to me, you can always confirm that. Marhaba, marhaba. Assalamu alaikum. Marhaba, Shaglat, Yasir, Gabi. Marhaba. I'm very happy to have you here. I'm very, ha very happy to be also presenting to you all today. Marhaban, Anisia, Inken, Laura, Marhaban. Uh, marhaban, Min Italia, from Italy. Hello, Marhaba. Perfect. Very glad, very glad to have you all here. Perfect. So, um, hi, Marhaba. I would like to name you all and to say hi to everybody one by one. But we have 30 minutes. I will go ahead. Keep saying marhaban and practice. Marhaba, marhaba is the general greeting in Arabic, which means hi, hello, marhaba, marhaba. Okay, marhaba, Rebecca, Dana, Matthias, Laura, everybody. Let's start. Uh, yalla. So, and also during this meeting, if you have any questions or anything you would like to know or you would like me to repeat, you can always go ahead and type it, okay? Perfect. So my name is Aisha. I am from Morocco. I am Moroccan and I am an Arabic teacher with a Kalam Walawh Center. Kalam Walawh. Okay. So um, first of all, I will start by talking uh, with talking about uh, Kalam Walawh Center, which is an Arabic language uh, center. So what does it mean Kalam Walawh? Okay, our name presents everything we work for. Okay, everything we are interested in, which is language exchange, culture exchange, especially the Arabic and Moroccan culture and language. Okay, so kalam means a traditional pen, okay, or pen made of cane. So in the old days, they used to make old pens, okay, with cane. And they use traditional ink, okay, to write on lawh. Lawh is also a wooden uh, board, uh, and we write on it, and we used to also write the Quran. For people who are memorizing the Quran, they write using the kalam on their lawh, and they write uh, and read and recite, okay? So kalam wa lawh is the symbol of our school, language exchange, culture exchange, and exploring the world through the languages and communication. So you are all welcome to a Kalam Walawah presentation about standard Arabic. Let's get started with Arabic, okay? Perfect. So we'll give just general information about Arabic first of all, okay? The most interesting thing about Arabic is that it starts from the right to the left, okay? And it has 28 beautiful letters and it is a very structured language. So when we talk about grammar, there is grammar and there is a lot of structures to this beautiful language and one of the most old languages. So Arabic also has a very specific system of vowels and we will see just some examples about that, okay? And please let me know. Thank you so much, Yasser. Uh, and we will also see some examples for the letters and for the vowels. Perfect. Uh, let's see. First, we start with alif. So this is normally called alif. Alif. Okay, and we'll write it A-L-I-F. Alif. I'm going to write it in the chat. Alif. So is the name of the letter. So this letter is our first long vowel. So as, we, so as we just mentioned, vowels are a little special. So it is a letter, consonant and vowel at the same time. So it is a vowel and its function is an ah, an ah, okay? Ah. If we put it with b sound, b sound, it's ba, b sound, and then a long alif, okay, 
an alif is ba ba okay perfect great that's an alif thank you so this the second letter and this is also uh, following the order of the alphabet okay it's alif ba ba okay so this is the name of the letter and it is in the beginning okay and in the middle and in the end or at the end so for french and english and latin languages we have small letters big letters okay with arabic we do not have different forms or sizes for the letters but we have different positions okay so different positions that's what i like to call the language of puzzles okay so we have little puzzles that we will put together in order to form connected words okay connected letters given words perfect so we'll also go ahead and start connecting and if you have a paper and a pen you can start also writing okay great so b b in the beginning b in the middle and b at the end also for t t sound t sound in the beginning in the middle and at the end so the third or the fourth letter that we have here is tha tha like in three in english three okay tha we also have that in arabic in the middle in the beginning sorry in the middle and then at the end okay tha and it is the th sound th sound okay Perfect. Let me know in the chat if you have any questions. Great. So let's see the connecting. Okay. How do we connect the alphabets in Arabic? So we just saw already the positions of Alif. Perfect. Alif, the first letter. In the beginning, in the middle and at the end. Okay, we have a, quest, a question from Dana. Okay, I know T and T are sometimes written with the lines and not dots. Yes, when do you, we use uh, which? That's a great question. That's a very, very great question because we do write them connected. They look connected, okay? Especially when we write it in the Arabic calligraphy. The Arabic calligraphy is an art of writing. Okay. It's the art of writing and we have many styles of Arabic calligraphy and sometimes you see the dots connected, okay? But normally they are always separated and also with the handwriting depends on people. Sometimes they put them together, sometimes they put them separated and it is just for uh, to be quick, okay? To be quick we put one line which means two dots. So that's something optional and it depends on people's handwriting and also on the style of the Arabic calligraphy that uh, we also give here in the school for our students. Perfect. So let's continue with the positions. You are more than welcome, Dana. What is voiceless? Yes, it's an ah. Perfect. It's voiceless. It just gives okay the direction to the sound that comes before it okay so if it is a b it is ba if it's t it's ta so it's always a long vowel perfect that's a good point mila thank you mila jayid good so what we need to know more about the alif is that it's unfriendly which means it does not connect to what's after, okay? So we have unfriendly letters and friendly letters, okay? When we talk about unfriendly, they connect at the beginning to what's after, they never connect, okay? We'll see an example. The B with different positions, okay? The little puzzles, the one in the initial position, the medium position, and the final position. Perfect. Let's pick, 
Okay, letter from, uh, or a position from these two letters, we pick three positions to make one word, and it is a meaningful word. Okay, so the first one would be B, okay, in the initial position, B in the initial position. And then we put it here, it is number one, okay, if I'm going a little fast, please let me know, okay, I can slow down. B in the initial position. And then the second one would be, so if we have a word of three letters, okay, so the one in the middle would be the initial position, okay, would be number two, Alif in the initial, or sorry, in the uh, medium position. We put Alif here, okay, we put Alif. And we'll also see a very small, for a minute, how to write it with handwriting, okay. Great. And then we'll again go back and pick B in the final position, which is the third letter in this word. So here we have B, uh, B. Okay. Why this is only con uh, pronounced B? Because at the end. So that's a rule. At the end, we keep all our words only silent. B, t, t. And this is uh, one of the safest rules in Arabic. So go silent, you, be, you will be safe. Safe from making mistakes, of course, okay? But of course we have different vowels that come in Arabic and that's for very, very later, okay? So there we have B connected to Alif. Alif is unfriendly. So after there is nothing that connects so we put just a normal B, it, which is not connected. So what we, del we delete the connecting line, okay? The connection, we just delete it, keep the letter. Easy peasy, okay? Perfect, great. So this is, now in the chat, try to guess how would be, how this word would be pronounced, okay? Use just uh, Latin la letters, or if you can write, you can always write it in Arabic. Perfect. That's great. Bab. Bab. That's great. Ramona, Dorota, Viola, Wamila. Jayid. Jayid. Jayid means great in Arabic. Jayid. Umtaz. Bab. So there we have B A B. That's Bab. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We need two. A's, okay, in order to make it long. This is a long vowel. It's not an A, it's an A, A, okay? Bab, Bab, perfect. Bab means a door, okay? The door, okay? Bab, Bab, perfect. Johans, Jaid, Bab. So we do not stop, we continue, Bab. Perfect, that's a great one. So, welcome to Arabic letters. And that's how it works with all the other words, okay? So now, what I would like you to do is, okay, pick uh, the ta in the, in the initial position. I cannot write on this one, but I can always Go like this, draw in order to write a little bit, okay? Perfect, so now I'd like to choose the letters for you and you write the word pronounced either in Arabic letters or English letters, okay? Write down please, how do we pronounce this three letters connected, okay? One, Two, three, perfect. Tab, perfect. Tab, tab. Jayid, tab. Just like the English word tab in the computer tab, tabs. Okay, perfect. Tab, and it is a verb, and we can also pronounce it taba, taba. If we would like to put the accent at the last letter, that would be taba. Perfect. Taba means someone who 
goes back to the right path, okay, in life in general. So that's a little uh, be, bit of a deep meaning. Tab, Jayid, Jayid Yasser, Jayid Martin, Jayid Karsten. Perfect. Miriam, Jayid, Tab, Tab, Jayid. Jamil, very nice. Good. So let's go for a little exercise, okay? So now we we'll see the letters, okay? And we'll try to uh, recognize the letters. Perfect. So here you will see different characters that we didn't see, and you will see some familiar letters. I'll go and make it perfect. So Yalla, can you please write down in the chat the letters that we can recognize? B, Jayid, Kitab, Jayid Mila. Kitab means a book. Kitab, Jayid. Bait, Jayid. Bait means a house. Kitab, Jayid Yasser, Jayid Dana, Mumtaz, Jayid Miriam. Ki, Kitab, perfect. Uh, Miriam, Miriam. Uh, tab is part of the second letter, the second word. That's the same word we saw before. If we add ki, that means a book. Ki tab. Perfect. I hope you were able to read the whole part of the word. Okay, great. Ki tab. Jayid. Mumtaz. Kitab. Jayid Johans. Jayid Laura. Mumtaz. That was a good job. Perfect. So now we'll see some greeting expressions okay greeting expressions in arabic we'll only see one to say hi we all know it now marhaban marhaba marhaba perfect ana ana ismi aisha ana ana ismi ismi aisha Tasharrafna. Tasharrafna. Okay. Tasharrafna. Perfect. Tasharrafna. I'll do it together. Hi. My name is, or it literally means, I, my name. I, my name, or I am called Aisha. Okay. Perfect. So, marhaba. Ana. Ismi Aisha. Tasharrafna. Tasharrafna. Perfect. So can you please write down either in let Arabic letters or English letters your name? Marhaban Johan. Tasharrafna. Tasharrafna Karsten. Ana Saida Bilikaik Aidan. Shukran. Hamza, marhaban Hamza, tasharrafna. Tasharrafna Louisa, marhaba. Ahlan Rebecca, tasharrafna. Jayid, Jayid, Jayid. Tasharrafna Viola, Nora, Monica. Tasharrafna Charlotte, Johans, marhaba. Tasharrafna, shukran Hamza. Shukran. Marhaban Clara, tasharrafna. Jayid, Momtaz. Carton, marhaba. Tasharrafna, Carton. Oh, Katrin, Asifa, sorry, Katrin, Jayid. Dana, Tasharrafna, Tasharrafna, Jayid. Mumtaz, Shukran, Rebecca, Shukran, Shukran, thank you, Shukran. Jayid, that was a very good job, thank you, Jayid. Jamil, I would like to see more names participating, please, okay? Jayid would be nice. Jayid. So now let's see how to talk about my family. Ailati. Ailati. Jayid. Ana. Ana. What does Ana mean? Ana. Ana. Jayid. Mumtaz Laura. Jayid. Ana. Ana, Jamil, Ana, perfect, Ana, Jayid Hamza, Jayid Ramona, Jamil, Matthias, Jayid, 
أنا أو oh, name أنا I perfect name is اسم اسم okay go back اسم اسم اسمي we add an e to anything that belongs to me if it's kitab a book kitabi is my book اسمي is my name حاسوبي is my computer جيد okay حمزه uh, ماتياس okay ماتياس name اسم اسم okay اسم انا انا is i no see how to use it انا عندي عائلة انا عندي عائلة we don't have an انا here I can always add it and we can see how do the Arabic handwriting goes مرحبا اوه او hands مرحبا hands تشرفنا جيد hands so انا Okay, let's write what we can. Answer. Shamil. Ah, now we cannot put it here, so we can always open a new word page. Hope you can all see it. Perfect. Anna. We draw Anna. Okay, Indy. Indy. Please don't panic. We'll go back to the file. You can see the translation and the transcription. Anna. Indy. Aila. Anna. Indy. Aila. Okay. I عندي عائلة عائلة You can always transcribe in your notebook or wait until I open back the other file أنا عندي عائلة جيد عائلة كبيرة عائلة كبيرة If you would like more words عائلة كبيرة. What does كبيرة mean? كبيرة. Try to recognize the letters we know. Perfect. جيد حمزة. جيد لورا. كبيرة means big. جيد. كبيرة. So we hear the student who asked about the letters. We can put them separately. Otherwise, I just write the ت and oppa. I can write one letter, okay? One letter, this means two connected dots. And that's just to be quick. Optional. Perfect. Anna عندي عائلة كبيرة. جيد. تمام. أنا عندي عندي جد. عندي جد. Oh la la. Okay, أنا عندي جد. يلا, who has a grandpa? Okay, you can write the sentence. أنا عندي جد. ممتاز. جيد حمزة. أنا عندي عائلة كبيرة. جيد حمزة. ممتاز. So, perfect. The pronunciation of عين seems very difficult. Yes, because Arabic makes you also work out your abs a little bit, okay? It's a letter that comes from your belly, okay? And it's also uh, described in the grammar books as the letter. It's a little unpleasing explanation, but it's like the vomit sound. So you press on your abs and you open for the air. Ah, and you put if you put your hands on your ab, abs, you will feel the pressure. Ah, 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 perfect, great. Ah, and also ain when it is by itself, I will write it in the chat. Okay, 
looks like a letter that has a, a little belly. Okay, it's a little C, okay, an English C, and then a big one down. And you can write it here in the word file. Ain. So this is ah, ah, okay, ah. This is the belly or the ab sound or the stomach sound. Ah, ah. You can also practice ah, ah. Of course, when you talk about the sounds, Arabic has some special sounds, okay? Just needs some practice and it is there. Arabic is also called the language of Dad, 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 and it's one of the letters. And they say, okay, it's the only language that has this sound. That's why we call it the language of Dad, Dad, and Da is a thicker version of de, the sound de. De is when we smile. Da is when we open the mouth, we keep all the air in. Da, da, da. Okay, so that's one also of the very special sounds about Arabic. So Arabic also makes you work out, makes you use different parts of your body pronouncing the words. Jayid. So it is another way to also discover what your body can do else when it comes to pronunciation. Perfect. عندي جد. أنا عندي. I have. عندي جد. عندي جدة. عندي جدة. عندي أب. عندي أب. So I hope you understand from the pictures. And you can down in the chat write what you have. أنا عندي جد. أنا عندي جدة. أنا عندي أخ. أخ. Brother, أخ. أنا عندي أخت. أنا عندي أخت. Perfect. جيد مريم. جيد. ممتاز. جيد حمزة أنا عندي جد جيد لورا ممتاز جيد جيد ممتاز that was a very great exercise شباب ممتاز I was very happy to uh, have you here and if you have any questions please write them in the chat ممتاز راشد Rachel Rachel أنا عندي أخت جيد جيد ممتاز Rachel جميل أنا عندي والدان وأخت جيد كارستن ممتاز long sentence جيد والدان is parents the two parents and that's a dual word two parents جيد ممتاز أنا عندي بنت جيد ميلا جيد بنت means a daughter بنت بنت جيد ميلا ممتاز جيد حمزة عندك أخت جيد جميل that was very perfect great جوهانز جيد عندك أخت أنا عندي أخت ممتاز so it was very 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 uh, much of an honor to have you all here sorry because the presentation went away there we go Perfect. So at the end, I have one minute to thank uh, the uh, people who were here. First of all, thank you so much for the big interest that you all showed in Arabic. That means a lot to me as an Arabic speaker, as a Moroccan, and also as a teacher in Kalam Walaw Center. Thank you so much for being here and for showing all the great and uh, amazing interest. Uh, thank you very much, Expolinga, for this great opportunity. Thank you so much. I was very happy to be part of this uh, great event. Uh, shukran, shukran, ala saf. Shukran, shukran, Karsten. I'm, I'm glad you liked it. Shukran, shukran, shukran. shukran.